In this part we continue the work. Now I show you how to fill it up inside part of the leaf. For this I turn the work. With a needle go through the stitches of the cord. And with a needle go through the loop of the cord. Continue working. Now I'm going to work with strings. With the needle go through the loop of the cord. With the needle go through the loop of the cord on the opposite side. Continue working with a needle go through the loop of the cord in this side. Work with the opposite side, work with with a needle go through the loop of the next stitch. With a needle go through the loop of the cord. With a needle go through the loop of the cord in this side. Work with the opposite side. With a needle go through the loop. I'm going to work from the bottom to the up. Continue working in this way till the end of the space. I have already done all my strings. With a needle go through the stitches. With a needle go under the threads that we did before. Like this. And with the needle go through the stitches on the opposite side. Let's make filling stitches. I'm going to work with spiders. Next time I'm working with next three threads and the middle one. I skip one, two, three. With a needle go under the middle thread. Go back. With the needle go under the thread and through the stitches. With the needle go under the middle thread and go back with the needle go through the stitches. Make one more time. The spider is ready. Work with the next thread. Wrap the middle thread like this and move to the top. We skip one, two, three and with the needle go under the middle thread. 
where the needle go under the middle thread. And so on. Work from the down to the up. You should make such wraps in two more time. In total it should be three of them. I have done four spiders. I remove all yarns along the cord. Then you should make leaves in the same way as I showed you before. I have done my pattern, so places of contiguity. Now I'm going to work with shape of the collar. I pin my cord. I have already pinned my white cord. Then sew places of contiguity. Then I'm going to work with inside part of the project. Work with three places where the needle go through the stitches of the cord. Pull a little bit. Where the needle go through the stitches. The thread is under the sewing needle. With the needle, go through the second loop. The fill and stitches will be different sizes. Work with the second row. And wrap the thread. One and two. Make the villain stitch. You can pin this stitch. And wrap this stitch. Pull a little bit. Where the needle go through the loop of the cord. And wrap it. The number of wraps you determine by yourself. With the needle go through the next loop. With the needle go through the second loop. And drop it.
one and two and pull a little bit with a needle go through the loop of the cord And wrap it like this. Now I'm working with this fill and stitch, wrap it. Make the fill and stitch and wrap it. Pull a little bit. Work with this side, but then you go through the loop. Pull a little bit. Pull a little bit and wrap it. Make two or three wraps. With a needle go into the fill and stitch, fix the stitch and wrap it. And wrap one more time. With the needle go through the loop wrap it Now I'm going to work with these fillet stitches till the end of the space. I have done the chaotic mesh. As you remember, we did fillet stitch and wrap this stitch. Then I did fillet stitch and wrap the next fillet stitch. The direction in so on you determine by yourself. Then you should fill in up all four places in this way. I have already filled up all four places with chaotic mesh. And I did trim for the shape of the project. In this case it was a row of single crochet with beads. Now I show you how to make the hole for the button. With the needle go through the stitches. Let's make the hole. Go back with the needle, go through the stitches. I remove my pin and drop them. Now 
Continue working in this way till the end of the thread, like this. You should remove all thread along the cord. Then you should sew the bottom to the opposite side. That's it. Our project is done. Let's take a look at the back side. Today we have learned how to make beautiful collar made in Romanian point lace technique. Thanks for watching.